Uh, so my name is Austin McGee. I'm the deputy tech lead for DHIS2. Um, I'll let my colleagues introduce themselves one at a time, and then uh, we'll kick it off with the demo for 239. Lars, you want to start? Yeah, absolutely. Hi, everyone. My name is uh, Lars uh, Overland. I'm uh, co-tech co leading with, uh, with Austin here in uh, DHIS2. I'm Marta Vila, and I'm the product manager for the Android team or mobile team over to Scott. Hello, everyone. I'm Scott Russ Patrick. I'm the DHS2 Analytics Product Manager. Hey, everyone. I'm Marcus Beck, and I'm the Tractor Software Team Lead. Great. And uh, with that, I will uh, turn it over to um, Marta. Marta, who will start us off with the uh, Android 2.7 uh, release. We're really excited to share with you the the release of the, the latest version of DHS2 Core, as well as the Android Capture app. Uh, so Marta, I will turn it over to you. I'm going to turn off my video so that uh, you can focus on the functionality that will be displayed. So I guess um, <clears throat> I'm going to start, but the, the order we will follow is we will start with me uh, for Android. Marcus will follow with Tracker, Scott with Analytics, and then Lars will present for platform. So starting with um, Android. Uh, this release is, uh, is a release that where we have dedicated a lot of resources in bug fixing. So actually, those fixes are released already as part of the patch releases 2.6.1 and 2.6.2. But functionally, uh, it's a small release. You will see uh, uh, now when I go through the new changes, because we did a lot of maintenance and bug fixing. Two things that are probably interesting for this community about that work is that <clears throat> for those of you that use the SMS reporting integrated into the Android app, before you had to go to the to GitHub to get the APK that actually had the SMS functionality because we had some issues with uh, permissions in Google Play, but we have fixed that. So the app that you download nowadays in Google Play includes the SMS functionality. So that's the new thing. And then another thing we are working on that is still not visible, but there is a lot of work on it, is building a new LMIS module integration to have a dedicated um, data entry flow for the stock management use case. That will probably be released in the next uh, in the next version. 